Chi. We're here to talk to you about it. The previous card that we had on Saturday, which, uh, by the way, we, uh, we did good. We did good. But before that, definitely want to address two things. First, we are very happy and very grateful for all the subs, all the likes, and all the views. Keep it going, guys. But most importantly, we really appreciate that. Like, it really touched my heart a lot. And, uh, that's one of the things me and JC wanted to address. It's really, you want to say something about that? Yeah, I, first of all, this is like give you like encourage to continue. Today Mel uh, went me up and I, I am with a message like we have a lot of shots and a lot of views. <laughs> and I was sleeping, he was really happy with that because at the beginning he wasn't like so like thinking that we could do it. I told him, why not? We know what we're doing. We love UFC and we are having fun and we are gi almost giving money to people for free, you know. So what what best that than that? Also explain about what we're gonna do on Saturday that we get the merch for that. So explain. What we're gonna do on Saturday? The lights. What the live stream? Yeah. Ah yeah, that's something we're gonna do. But before that, before that, uh, we want to address this video was supposed to be. Uh, Upload it to YouTube on Sunday, yeah. maybe Monday morning, you know, but wait for it on Sundays, all right? Yeah, we'll but this is the thing, we'll we record, record it. On some, on some. Uh, we'll record it on the maximum capability of our camera, 4K 60 FPS, but the program that we use for edit the videos, for edit the videos can take 60 FPS. It can take 4K. 30 FPS, which is what we are recording on right now, but we we recorded for less like 30 minutes of that, and it was yeah. great, and it was yeah. one of the best recordings we've ever done ever since we started doing videos for YouTube. But unfortunately, there was nothing we could do. I spent six hours trying to trying to bypass that. We even took the computer to somebody else. He said, "It's the the, the problem that you guys are using. You know, it's uh, it's not as strong for this camera. The frame rate is too much, which is what I suspected." But then again. JC had to go out and do something about that because one, I was working in two, uh, I am not a computer to science. So. Anyways, uh, let's just talk about what, what happened in the last card. Uh, we had five picks, we were correct in three pretty much, and I'm gonna let JC start talking about that. Hope you guys made some money because we did some, we did make some, all right? <laughs> so, letting you know that. Let's go with that. Okay, first of all, I wanted to say thank you again to all of you guys. Um, we, are, we, are, we were talking, Mel and, and I, before uh, recording this video that we are doing it now. I told him, like, all the profits that I'm going to do since next Saturday, I'm going to address it to the channel, so you will be seeing more improvement. We are going to have more things that we wanted to do, it because we are all in this project, so... Thank you again for everything, and uh, now let's go and talk about UFC. That's the reason that you are here. So, in the last car we went from 11-5, we have 8 picks correct and 3 wrong. And in our personal bet, we went from 5 to 3. So we are going to talk about the whole car right now. The first fight was Victor Altimirano against Carlos Hernandez. We said in that one that Hernandez, but we didn't have to pick over there. The second fight was Brahimov against Michael Gilmore. Again, I said that it's going to be first round a submission by Rahami Brahimov, but I didn't like wanted to bet that because he had dropped the, the ball, ball before. So but we kind of were inclined that he was going to win. Even though he was not our pick, we were kind of correct from Hernandez to Brahimov so far. Okay. The first fight was Jonathan Martinez. Okay. That was. Yeah. That was our pick in this one and was our fresh bet. So this fight, like this guy has been improving a lot and he showing the only thing that I didn't like that I told to me was that he was fighting behind his kick. Like he wasn't throwing a lot of punches, you know, like only kicks and fighting outside and that was the reason the other guy knocked him down. Because in the kicks he left the, the chin open and he was knocked down. But was an easy win, a unanimous decision. Do you want to do something? Oh, wait, who knocked down who? Uh, uh, Perez, in the first round. 
You know, down but, there. Oh, okay, okay. okay. You know, right. down, but what's because he yeah, was fighting? Yeah, I thought, I thought, what I tried to understand is that uh, I, I thought you said the other guy knocked him out. No, no, no. I not, mean, uh, not, Jonathan Martinez knocked him, knocked no, him no, down, no, but no, no. Uh, it was the other way around. No, but no, still, yeah. Jonathan Martinez managed to pull it yeah. out. So, yeah, that's something we've seen from Martinez. We don't like that much when he does that. But... Yeah, he you know, really well. At least he won the fight, so yeah. that's something on, on this side. So. What I was mad was like in the third round, he thought that I suppose that he's gonna do since the first one. But anyway, he won. So the next fight I'm gonna let you that you talk about your guy. <laughs> no, no, the about lightning. My man, my, my man. First round he win. took it. We said he was gonna yeah. we said he was gonna take it, even though he was not our pick. No, no. We was a was pick, but it, not a bet. But we were not sure because every single fight that he goes after the first round, yeah. he gets clapped. But in this one, I was expecting him to knock him out, yeah. to be honest. I was not expecting McKinney to actually the other guy. choke him out and he just But was hit was him impressive. Do you remember like the fight go and the other guy standing the ground and said like what? If that was super That super. was yeah. I was expecting actually the other fella, uh Mr. What's his name? Sian. First. Sian. I was expecting first to do something, you know, like like to be the, the one trying to do the yeah. submissions, mm -hmm. to do the ground but no. But you McKinney know, took advantage of that. He pulled a laser out of his, you know, his booty. But something funny that I was looking in the careers of McKinney, you are not gonna believe. McKinney has more submission than not that, like not out. If you look, at he has. And more. his whole career now. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 in the UFC, his whole oh, career. his whole career. That's something else. Okay, yeah. got it. okay. <laughs> because in the UFC, he, all he's got is. Chaos, 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 chaos. One, seconds, two, three, 14, yeah. maybe some matches, but that's so it. So the only thing that I, w I wanted to say about this, we have to take care in the next fight that he goes against who he goes because we couldn't see his cardio again. So yeah, that's right. a concern that, that's over there. Yeah. But I think that it's good because if he has a play, a play, a play, no, a game plan mm -hmm. to start wrestling a guy, it's because you have a good cardio. Because mm -hmm. he mind that he couldn't. Like get the stuff in the first round. He's gonna go to the second round with this guy. So yeah, he has the plan to wrestle. Mm -hmm. So if no, you wanna he, wrestle, he's, you he's have he's to work on it. What you're yeah. trying to say is that yeah. he's working on it. So yeah. I agree. So he's working on that. Well, that's well, what we suppose. We that, don't know. That I don't know where he, we don't know where his cardio yeah, is. Because we couldn't we see. Honestly, it. We, the only time we're gonna see his cardio improving is if, if he, he goes, goes to the, third the second round, round. Yeah. beyond the first round and goes all the way to the third. The, the other fight against, we have the pitch Josin Nunez, but we couldn't be sure in this fight because the other lady, we are, didn't have another information. She was coming in, in short notice, so it's a red flag, but Josin Nunez, she showed that she has a good power in his hands. And like I was talking to Mel, we was having like a little, a, a, you know, a little fight because I was saying like she can do nothing in his weight class because they, they reach and you were saying like fighters like they're short, they can fight. So we didn't have like a little fight over there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we pretty much said that uh, we were, um, like I knew that Nunez was going to take it. It's not that I knew because I, you know, I'm, I can't guess because if I would be guessing, I would not making YouTube videos. I'm yeah. playing the goddamn loud. That's it. You will not see me here, man. You will not see this pretty face nowhere in the galaxy. In Switzerland. In Switzerland. So, anyways, uh, no one just won the fight. So, uh, you know, not surprised there, to be honest. I was not surprised at all. However, I did see a lot of improvements on her side and the way she strikes. Yeah. But let's just see what happens on the next one. The next fight is a really good one. That was our second bet, and we won. We did have I'll Ignacio La Jaula Bahamonde against Ron Chu. And I really was impressed with this guy. Like, we talked in the last video, like, his takedown defense improved, but he chose, like, he's yeah. really improved. Yeah, he's really because improved. the other guy uh, tried four uh, takedowns and he couldn't get no. Yeah, and the first time that he tried it. He almost, tried it. almost uh, submitting a, a stand up, almost. But the other guy is Yeah, Bahamondes instantaneously yeah. grabbed him by the neck and yeah. choked and started, I mean, it started squeezing so hard. Yeah. 
that Sue knew that if he would have tried to take him to the ground, it would have been over. So he had to release him pretty much. So he had a chance to have to fight, keep and you know, have to fight going because he was on top. He was he was on top. And this we dude has increased has increased. <laughs> Wait up! He, this guy has increased his his takedown defense by a big deal. By a big deal. This kid has a future. However, I'm a little bit concerned about his cardio. Just a little bit. Yeah, but it's someone that that tried two hundred significant strike, you know, like. There is no problem in the sky. Yeah, he did. He did. And he, he landed 133. So yeah, like 65 to 70. Yeah. 70. Yeah. yeah. 65. Uh, and also, that we didn't say that he won by some Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he won by some Mitchell. That is a wrestler. Yeah. So I was really impressed with this guy, and I wanted to continue seeing what he's doing. So he's doing good. He has Bella Muhammad, you know, in his corner and training with him. So he has good company. So I. I don't wish you nothing else but the best. By, by the way, I'm gonna talk to Zway. Listen, man. Oh yeah, the pink, the pink hair. <sighs> well, what were you saying? Like if they fight with the Listen, lights they, off? They, <laughs> they, yeah, if this fight would have been done with the lights off, Bahamonde would have found your head. You do not dye your hair pink, man. It's like dyeing your hair red to a bull. Bahamonde is the bull. He found your, he found that head. <laughs> But you know, like, I was trying I mean, to know. 65 striking on that match with 233 blows and 200 and something blows and landing 133. Yeah. Man, you were in you serious trouble there. Come but on, that was not really a smart move. I didn't know why he changed his color. Like, why? It's just something that they, that they do. I don't think why? That, that was not any strategic like, reasons. If he thought it was going to be an strategic reasons, he was, he, he was dumb to do it. Because but why his training didn't say nothing? Like that was. I don't know. You know. I, I don't know, but if it's not strategic reason, if you're dying your hair to be more colorful and you are boxing, you're dumb. Yeah, it's a dumb, dumb thing. That is a dumb thing because I'm still gonna be like, what? Yeah. I'm following the green color. Yeah. Even if let's just say my eyes are like this. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I that. still gonna see the green color. I might not see your face, but I'm seeing your goddamn hair. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> continue to the main card. We have. A uh, Armin Petrochan against Gregory Rodriguez. We didn't have a pick over the, over there, but we thought that Rodriguez won that fight. At least the fight couldn't be a draw. I don't mm -hmm. think that Armin Petrochan won the fight because the only thing that I see that was like in the end, like Rodriguez got out that we talk. Mm -hmm. in the yeah, fight he got out. I I was really like screaming on the TV and saying to Mel, why he couldn't take him down? And when he started to do it, it was in the first round and he took it down so easily. So I talked to Mel, do you mind if that guy started doing it in the first round? He would get the submission really quick. He had he had very uh, at least two or three opportunities. He could have yeah. ended the fight. And I get it. He tried to pressure the guy, but listen, we gotta give props to Petrosian. Really. Yeah, he's really dog hard. man is a dog, yeah. and I mean alpha male dog. Like he had, he wobbled like three times. Yeah, with the and kick. Did you remember the kick? I thought that was over. I, I thought it was over right then and there too. Even from the first time that he got wobbled, yeah. he still went forward. He kept pressing. That's, on that's the reason I I like the Rochans guy. All the Rochans from Armenia, all those countries. Those guys really tough. are tough, man. Yeah, they are really big tough. Deal tough yeah, dude. They are really tough. They are in another level for sure. Yeah. So but, props to Petrosian, though. Yes. So. And also I wanted to say that again, that I was saying in the last video, always when you bet, you have to take care and acknowledge the, I, the IQ of the fighter. Mm -hmm. Because that's an important thing you have to look for. Because I'm thinking that if Gregor Rodriguez started wrestling since the round one, he would have won. won the fight. Yeah. So he would have won the fight. But this fight, he didn't lose it because of the fight. He loses because of him. The yeah, the decisions he made. I, I think uh, he could have taken. He could have switched a little yeah. bit with the hands and then switch it with the wrestling, and yeah. he would have taken it. Yeah, but, but he got styled out. You know, that going was, after the knockout, going after the haymakers. Watch the fight yourself and see it. Yeah. But anyways, then uh, we have Armin Serukian against Joel Alvarez. This was our money fight mm -hmm. and our first loss on the card. I wanted to say props to Armin Serukian. He's a monster. Yeah. 
He's a monster. Yeah, he chose that he's in an oil completely left. Yeah. But we don't know because Joel Alvarez slipped and went to the ground and then he was caught. So we didn't know what would happen because before the, the slippery, the fight was... The fight clear. was kind of even at that yeah. point. But that's the thing, bro. Uh, you did do this is why, I, I, you know, this is why I'm giving props to Sorokia. Yeah. He it took that opportunity and the fight. You, can, you, you cannot let him get up. Yeah. And he was a dog without a leech over Alvarez. I have never seen, and I mean, I haven't seen a ground pound like that <laughs> ever since Tito Ortiz was really young. I know a lot of you hate Tito Ortiz, but he was really young, he was in the USC, and he was in his prime. His ground and pound was crazy, he was punching. It's crazy how whenever they got up after losing a fight against Tito by ground and pound, you could actually see the damage immediately in their face. This was the same thing, the way he yeah. cut off his, oh my God, and all so that cool. lost brain. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. It looks like a more common video game, to be honest. Yeah. That's, that's what it looked like. Now we have to take care because after losses like this, you can like finish your career. Look what happened with Kukui. Uh, they don't even find him after he lost. Yeah, him. but yeah, but that's different. That one was a bunch of lots of more blows and that he took the whole. Oh, oh, how many? How many? How many rounds? Like five rounds. Yeah. After they stop it, they stop in the. Fifth. They stop in the fifth. Though he took way many shots than Alvarez. Alvarez is good. He just got one huge cut. Yeah, but I, I'm talking about like the like the like the fear, you know, like. Those yeah, no, like he needs to adjust. He needs to understand. Yeah. I think he needs to work on his ground. Alvarez needs to work work a little because. Sarukian knows how when, when Yeah, this guy is a pro. This guy is a really high prospect. And he knew that when that guy landed on the ground and that's it, you're not gonna get out. Yeah. And if he managed to keep him on the ground like that, he's gonna win. I am fight. really concerned about any other fighter of five C's good. Yeah. Right? So oh, let's go to the other one. Jimmy <laughs> 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 against Frichilla Chirin Cachueira. I'm uh, gonna hand you this fight to you. Uh, listen, let, let's let you know, Kim didn't disappoint me this time. Hey girl, you didn't disappoint me this time. And I was expecting you to do that. But you fought with the heart of a lioness. I saw. I saw you were you were getting wobbled, but you still were punching and moving forward and trying to slip here and there and connecting on the time. But unfortunately, you fought somebody like this, like the goddamn Terminator of the female division. They saw you, me. You, you didn't look like the like Robocop, that's it, you know? And, uh, Robocop against Terminator. And, uh, yeah. and I felt like you actually won the fight. Yeah. He, I felt, he, even, he, though, he, I, even yeah. though we said it, this, this fight was not our pick, we yeah. thought Cachuera that Cachuera would take it. But I honestly believe King actually is a split, a split decision, no unanimous decision. Yeah, a unanimous decision that was that way was, too much. No, that was no. way too much. Because the fight was so much close that unanimous decision. Yeah, and, and congratulations to Cachuela. This time Talk you, about did, the, you, did, you the, didn't you didn't, <laughs> you didn't this time you didn't you didn't start I mean uh, gouging people like right? <laughs> but you went for the motherfucking top. You went <laughs> cha, cha, cha. you went for the top. We saw that for him to go. We saw it. We saw it. We saw it. I'm not basing, I got I got two good eyes. Look at me, I got two good eyes. I saw you putting that tongue. What the hell you're a dentist now? Come on, get out of here. Cut your head, I gotta do better than that. No, come on now. Anyways, props to the window. Props to the window. But and they're taking all those amount of punches. But well, listen up. You might look like the Terminator. But that tactic is not going to work no. against somebody like Valentina or, or, or Amanda Nunez, somebody that can strike real hard. I'm telling you, you do that against these girls, then you're going to die. Your, whatever the fight is, let's just say the fight is in Canada, they uppercut you in Canada, your head is going to land all the way to New Zealand. All right? That's what's going to happen. That is, I'm just telling you, don't do this kind of tactic with these girls. But I say you're going to do it, we're going to be waiting in New Zealand when you would have sat for your head. <laughs> to collect it. Anyways, okay, uh, let's go to the common event. This one was kind of disappointed because Micha Sikono was winning the fight after he was caught. He was careless for one second, and the other guy, it was too much for him, like the UG. Like yeah. He only took the gun. The, the and, 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 and that was something that Mel and I was talking about the UG guys. And he teached me something that I didn't know. Like those guys that they are judicious, they want to be on his back. Their backs. Like they, it's not that they necessarily need to be on their backs. It's like they feel comfortable. More comfortable. 
being on their backs. So that's where things, you think uh, it's going to start getting back for them? That's when it actually ends. And it actually that ends on their favor. That's that exactly cool. what yeah. happened. And this, guy got, and this guy was punching Tormund. Yeah. If he did say if Tormund would not grab that arm, yeah, he was gonna lose. He was, I, I felt, I felt like, I feel like he was gonna lose regardless. Yeah. Like he's getting, he was getting smacked. Yeah. But props to Tormund. Yeah. We didn't also know that he had text no, on his corner. I would have known that. I probably would have, would, 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 wouldn't have gone for a second up because you know I'm pretty sure they said I said hey listen you fought an old man the last time and you almost got knocked down and this and that blah 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 uh, if you do it this one I'm gonna spank this shit out of you <laughs> you better win right and that's exactly what it is like, he won so let's go now to the main event yeah Islam Makachev against versus Bobby Bobby King Green. Green. Man, we so, talked about this. We yeah. we said that you know, you know, it's, it was not a surprise. Yeah. Come on, you know. But you know, the most funny for me was when they say where Makache was born. He was born in Makalaka. <laughs> what the fuck let's, is that? Listen, not to not to disrespect my Russians, dude, but yeah, they the don't understand. The name. The, the, you don't understand that. I, it's the first time that I heard that. <laughs> that name, that name. And I was <laughs> telling, and I was telling, and I was telling JC, listen. Bobby Green is from Detroit. Detroit, right? We know what that is. Yeah, they're about to see it on the map. Yeah. Is, I don't know if I see Macalaca on the map. And I, and I keep telling you, there's no geographic location for that town. Macalaca. That's not a town, dude. That is a cave <laughs> behind the mountain after the forest where, you know, and the Russians probably know, but you see, you remember that mountain and all those forests after that? And all those birds that died by people chicken with sticks and all that? That's where the Macalaca people are. My man is. It's not even Dagestan because Dagestan is a, it's a town where Kabi was born and they train, but he lived in Macalaca. He has to go to, for Dagestan, he has to go to the river in Macalaca. It's like he has to go. Yeah, it's like this. I mean, it's bear killing cave. No yeah. bear. This, I mean, I'm telling you, probably bears are running from these people. There's no man live over there in Macalaca. There's <laughs> no man in Jerry. The Jerry is the one who does abomination to the Listen, Bobby. Listen. He was wrestling with the Jerry when he was four years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. He was wrestling with the Jerry. That's a good the Jerry. Oh. And, then, and then Bobby he said that he has a bad drug in wrestling. Come on, man. He, that guy was wrestling with the Jerry. It's like, I was telling, it's like I was telling you the last video. I was telling, I was telling you guys. I was telling Bobby. I was I just see Bobby, even though Bobby does not give a shit about our country. Yeah. But I was just telling Bobby, listen, man, you're gonna fight a guy that actually fights bears. Mm -hmm. You that actually wrestles bears for for wrestling purposes. You're gonna you, you've been training with Teddy. Not for wrestling purposes. For fun. They were doing it for fun. Do you imagine like you leave your kid with a bear? Like those bro. parents are crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. Those are barbarians right there. And Bobby, you mean your wrestling teddy bear's background didn't help. I told him it. However, I gotta give you props. Yeah. He took that fight on a very short notice. Ten days, ten days. And yeah. yeah, on a very short notice. He like said the day he has our our respect. He has it. Because he's he was saying after the fight that he was like the third guy that they would call him. So there was two guys that they didn't accept the fight. Mm -hmm. But this guy, like, you know, like, he wanted to make money and we live in the United States, that's fine. That, you know, that, that, I we have it. to pay I bills it. and he was born, like, in puberty because he was talking about his life, how his parents left him, you know, and he has been from road time mm -hmm. and now he's making money brought to him and you have to be brave because I don't know if I could do the fight with this guy in five days. You can die actually in a cage. I'm, I'm telling you, I won't. Yeah. That's why I'm giving him props. It takes a real, yeah. a real. You have to be a real man. A, a real, real, a real badass to be in the ring with somebody like that in less than ten days, man. Yeah, and you're a guy prepared for. You save the more. card, yeah. and I'm serious right now. Forget about all the roasting, all that crap that I, that I, that we said. We give props what props are yeah. given, are rightfully given, and I'm telling you, you saved that card. Yeah, completely. You did. You have a big heart, and the way you entered the arena with that yeah. emotion, I said that was something. Even else. if he loses it, 
I started applauding you. But you know, I was scared when he entered like that. I met before that Magante will lost because if you see like, like he was going to get intimidated. Yeah, no. you know, because I thought the same, but then I, then, then, then again I said, no, it's, then again I said, it, it's Magante. It's it's Makachev, man. He's gonna start very. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna enter the arena very collected, and that's it. That's it. Good job, Obi. Good job, Makachev, for taking that fight and you know winning it. It is what it is. You took our, our homeboy, uh, Bob Green, to Wrestle Town to Makalaka. <laughs> he, he's he's got you gotta help him train Makalaka with those pairs. You know, yes. Bobby. All you need to do is work on that wrestling. To be honest. Because I think you are... Uh, yeah, he has a good wrestling, but you know, like, this guy from Rocha, they're seeing another yeah, level. Yeah, but still, like, 10 days, it's even, you know, 10 days of notice and losing all the pounds against somebody, like, like high profile, like, Magachev, like, a, a, like, Magachev is a really high tier in wrestling, man, like, a really high yeah, tier. he's in another level. He's in another level, so Bobby Green needs more, uh, you know, more time, he needs to develop more his wrestling, and a little bit of his striking, too. I think Bobby Green is a great, uh, a uh, prospect, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh... Well, uh, he's not a prospect. He's a... And he did a good job. He took the money for the fight. That's good, man. Nobody... You know, you're feeding your kids. You're feeding your family. That's what a real man is supposed to do. Yeah. We, uh, give you props for that. Okay, talking about this, uh, now next car is a really good one. It's going to be a pay-per-view. Kobe Covington against George Gabriel must be that. It's gonna be a really good card. That's gonna be incredible. We've been waiting for that one for a very long time. JC was even telling me at one point that that might not happen. I said it's gonna happen because yeah. you know what? It's a money fight. Yeah, they're saying the fight. It's a money fight. It's a money fight. And these guys know how to sell the fight. That's why they get paid the way they get paid. Yes. And I know it. It was gonna at some point it's gonna be massive love versus Kobe. You know. Yeah. That's it. And there's probably gonna be a third fight between Kobe and, 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 and Usman. Yeah. Down the line, for sure it's gonna be. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be the same result. I think that Kobe is not gonna be. Kobe needs to develop his striking a lot more. That's all he needs to do. Yeah. If he can get better into striking, yeah, then he might take it. Yeah. So this guy is gonna be March 5th. It's gonna be on Saturday. We are gonna have the picks ready for Thursday or Friday. So. Be attentive again. Thank you to everyone that has been subscribing, has been joining. Please leave your comments, uh, whatever you want to say. We're gonna be here, and remember on Saturday we are gonna be live on the fight. So jump in, so we can have fun. We can be talking. Also, we're gonna say we have more pitch, you know, because when you're uh, watching the fight, you get hit it, and you wanted to bet more and everything. So please jump in with all of that. Melly, do you want to say something else? No, that's it, that's it. it. Uh, let's just wrap it up and we catch you guys in the next one. This is the B-Dog Cap signing up. Let's go, baby.